to begin with, entering the dark auditorium was like closing your eyes. Your isolation from the crowd, your body submitting to a feeling of depersonalization, the droning music obdurating the sense of hearing, the stiffness of the neck necessary for the gaze's orientation, all of this was like going to sleep. Free from the long historical discourse that surrounded painting, film liberated the artist of many preconceived conventions. The relatively new medium allowed for an unprecedented ability to manipulate time and space, and such films served to focus attention upon narrative itself and upon the filmic processes of constructing the relationship between the film and its audience. Louise Buñuel referred to it as the best instrument to express the world of dreams, of emotions, of instinct. Surrealism was heavily engaged in Freudian ideas of the unconscious, particularly the idea of dream states unburdened by sublimation and repression. What more to it? Go on and try to recall the details. The more cockeyed, the better for the scientific side of it. He was leaning over the sloping roof of a high building. It was a man with a beard. I yelled at him to watch out. Then he went over, slowly, with his feet in the air. And then I saw the proprietor again, the man in the mask. He was hiding behind a tall chimney, and he had a small wheel in his hand. Further driven by an interest in moments of convulsion, surrealists often work to disrupt narrative conventions of plot, character, setting, and causality. Suddenly I was running. Then I heard something beating over my head. It was a great pair of wings. The wings chased me and almost caught up with me when I came to the bottom of the hill. As well as being influenced by Fred Yen writings, many films reference the fine art paintings, sculpture, and photographs which preceded them. The viewer can easily see the influence of De Chirico's paintings in Man Ray's 1928 film Le Oil de Their influences were not confined to fine art, however. They were also influenced by films such as The Cabinet of Dr. Calgary, Nosferatu, Buster Keaton and Charlie Chaplin, Surrealism's influence on film has been powerful and long-lasting. Maya Deren's work such as Meshes of the Afternoon and Atlant draw from many ideas established by the Surrealists. Elaine Resnay's film Last Year at Marion Bad also draws from these influences. Serialism, along with Dada were the first artistic movements to become seriously engaged with cinema. The founding of the movement coincided with the birth of motion pictures, and its influence has remained strong over the last century, still reappearing in works seen today. <laughs>